Hello guys, it's Little Chaos here. We're going to do another project with the camera movement. Currently in 4.18.3. We're going to make this new project in the top down, and we're going to call it Camera Movement. Now in our new project, we're going to open up the blueprints. We're going to go to top-down character, or the character that has the uh, camera on it. So we're going to move this event tick out because we're going to need a sequence on it. Make a sequence. We're going to also need a gate. And we're going to need the middle mouse button or any button, whatever button you want to use to trigger this gate. I like the middle mouse button since I'm used to it. And you can put the code in here like this, but I'm going to stick with making a function so it's not as cluttered in the event graph. I just call this camera movement. So now that we got it, what we're going to use is spring arm one. Since it's attached to our character, we're going to get spring arm. So that's our camera. We're going to get the spring arm. And Z here is going to rotate our camera around like that. That's what we want. Set that to zero. Our Y is also the pitch, basically the up and down of the camera. Set it negative 60. So we're going to start our uh, code here. We're going to get the spring arm, we're going to break, or we're going to get world rotation, or transform. Now we can get world rotation. And then we're going to break the rotation. Now we got our, our variables that we were just checking at. And we're going to need to add the Y variables to the other. And we're also going to need to add the Z variables for our X. So we're going to get mouse X and get mouse Y. Now on our Y or up and down we want to limit the variables so that way it doesn't go too high or go through the ground. So we're going to clamp the variable to minimum of negative 60 where it's at now and 0, which is where it's flat with the character. And then uh, we are going to make a rotator. And we're going to plug the variable in for that one and this in for Z and plug in our X. It's a little messy, but it gets, it gets the job done. Now with this we're going to set the world rotation on the spring arm one. You want spring arm one. Set world rotation spring arm one. And that's it. So now we can compile and save. And we can go ahead and test out the camera movement with the middle model. Oops, sorry. I forgot to actually set up the uh, what do you call it, the function here to actually trigger. It's my bad. Wrong. What window frame now, middle mouse button, we're rotating. And it's not moving very fast, so we can fix that by going into the camera movement and just multiplying these x, y variables with another variable. So we set that up. We can put this five, this to five, save it, check the camera movement again, and it's gonna rotate much faster. And it's still pretty smooth. See so we can't go any farther down, we can't go any farther up. And if you want to take it a step further, is 
the setup basically if you have a main menu component and you want to change the sensitivity you can add a variable here it says camera sensitivity and float it drop it down put it on the both now you have camera sensitivity for this to set the variable compile and save so now you can go ahead and change this variable whenever you can also have a slider range if you have a slider if you have it on a on a UI so this will be good for the sliders <clears throat> and you can change your sensitivity right in here save it and test it so now it's much smoother well slower it's a little bit more controller this is how much the fast I like mine right around that speed and that's pretty much it <clears throat> uh, take care